Um, welcome back to A Speed of Light. Um, and today I'm going to create rock, paper, scissors. Um, so it's already done. Um, so anyway, uh, this is the code that it took me. Now, again, we learned, we learned last video that abstraction can help you in anything. So this is another example of that. So now you can see that uh, this is another example instead of hiding all the elements and then creating a function. This is also another way you can use functions. So we're declaring a variable called computer. Display button is clicked. And so the screen to screen two, just that. Then we are saying if the rock button is clicked, I'm saying we should call out my function, which is result, which which has a um, which will do all of this. So it will over the value of the computer uh, variable name. Then it will put a it, it will put three if statements. Now you can see that uh, I set a random number of values from one to three. Now, if it's, if computer equals to one, we want to set the text that the computer shows rock, two, uh, the computer shows paper, and three, computer shows scissors. So pretty basic logic. And then, in, instead of or repeating this every single time inside these blocks, you can again do, uh, y you can use abstraction or, f or uh, functions to make make your code code uh, shorter. So let me just try it away. Click on rock, remember to use paper, uh, the computer to scissors, and when I click on scissors, the computer to rock. Now I can see that when you press rock again, um, so you can see that I keep on just pressing the buttons. So let's just try it one more time. Press rock, the one that shows rock, press it, paper, it shows paper, and, sc and scissors, it shows scissors. So you can see that's not that random. Well, so basically when I click on rock, it's saying rock on the previous, uh, on the previous one. When I click on paper, it's saying paper, and when I click on scissors, it's saying scissors. So I'm, I'm just going to show you that that's not true. So it can even be rock, 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 or paper, 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 or paper, rock, or whatever it is. Okay. Press play. And we press um, rock. And you can just come to your toast paper. Last time it was just rock. Uh, toast paper. So come here to paper. And toast scissors. So come here to toast paper again. So that's how easy this is, and yeah. So with functions, this is another way to do it. So it's another easy way to use functions and how to like basically like use them in a way that you can uh, like you can use them in a much sensible way. Let's say, because last video we did a simple project that was almost like you can do it without without any functions well this one if you re repeated this we would have had uh we would have had a lot of code and we would have put in we we would have put comments and those kind of stuff but we don't want to do comments that's the thing right so if you write if you write long programs and you repeat them this is the best option to create a function Hope this helps, and I'll see you next time. Bye.